Chris, um, what's been the, the review from today of, of, uh, of Saturday? Yeah, uh, pretty intense meeting, I suppose. Uh, just weren't good enough. We didn't get the job done. Um, missed tackles, fumbles, um, things like that. We couldn't get the ball inside our 50, and uh, they kept it in there, so they ended up kicking the score. I guess being a midfielder, um, inside the centre square, they got hold of you, particularly in the second half. Yeah, they really smashed us out of there, so we've got to be better around clearances. Their structures um, it's probably better than ours on the day, and, and they, uh, they certainly made the most of that and got the ball inside and, and ended up winning. They have a lot of bigger bodies. Did you notice that a lot of them were bigger? Yeah, there's been a bit of talk about that. Not really. Um, I think most teams are pretty big these days, and even if they're not tall, they're, they're quite strong anyway. So. But yeah, I didn't really know too much, mate. When you say a harsh assessment, was it from John or from maybe from within the playing group? Uh, both. Uh, Wusha, the co all the coaches, and um, also the players pretty, marked themselves pretty um, harshly as well. So, um, you know, we just got to work better than that. We've got two weeks now till Hawthorne, and, um, you know, we just got to be better than we were on the weekend. Uh, with us? a couple of guys still out for another couple of weeks, what's the answer in the midfield? Oh, we just got to step up. We've done. We've we've certainly done it. We've done it all tra all through the preseason training. We did it last year. We've covered guys, so um, we just got to be, be better and um, you know we'll tighten up our structures a little bit and yeah, just get the result, get it done. Would you look to spend a bit more time running through the centre? Yeah, hopefully get a bit bit more in there. I was I sort of was in there a little bit, but um, yeah, not as much as we liked. Daniel, uh, Mark McRae, <laughs> sorry, oh, that's the next. Just right up, Mark McRae, have you seen him? Since the game? No, I haven't, haven't seen him yet, but um, yeah, I think he's, he's healing up. Should be back in a few weeks, so um, obviously he needs a bit of luck going his way, and we need a bit of luck as a team, so but uh, yeah, I'm sure he'll come back and he'll be sweet. Did Your you... emotions when you either saw he was injured or taken off the ground? Yeah, it was a bit flattening. Um, just seeing him with the red vest on, walking off at three quarter time, I think, and uh, yeah, it was a bit shattering, and you always think the worst, but um, I, I think it's a better result than what, I, what we first thought. Daniel Kerr, uh, is he a chance for Hawthorne? He seems to be quite confident. Yeah, he's, he's uh, definitely a bit more vocal the last couple of weeks, so um, I'm sure he'll be uh, putting his hand up, but whether um, he needs a bit more match fitness or, or whatever, um, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see, but you know, it'd be nice to have him back pretty soon. Make a big difference, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. Midfield? Definitely, he's a gun player and we certainly need him back ASAP. Um, what's the feeling at the moment about the Hawthorne clash? A bit more important now? I haven't really thought about it, mate. It's Monday, so we're just finishing what we went over, what we did on the weekend. Um, that's all done and dusted now, and then we start start thinking about Hawthorne, you know, tomorrow and Wednesday. So, yeah, see what the coaches throw up.